Today, we're going to be performing a marquee reagent test on three different substances. All three of these were sold as pure MDMA crystals at a recent festival. Thank you to the volunteers who donated these samples to us so that we could make this video happen. This first substance is an off-white crystalline powder. It has a vanilla scent to it, and the volunteer who donated this pill to us explained her experience as very euphoric. She said she had a lot of energy, but on the downside she had a huge urge to redose. Apparently she went through an entire gram of this stuff in a night, which is pretty crazy. If this were real MDMA and she went through a whole gram, she would have a monster come down the next day. She'd have no serotonin left. Um, but that leads me to believe that this probably isn't MDMA. Um, she said it felt like a mix of, what did she say? She said it felt like a mix of MDMA and Coke, actually. Um, but the only way to really know what anything is, is to test it. So we have our test kit here and we are going to perform a test. What we're looking for is a straight to black fizzle. Straight to black indicates MDMA. Any other reaction means that this is not MDMA. Okay, so it fizzled and it didn't really change at all. Um, it, it might be a pale yellow. Um, if At best it's a pale yellow, but that really doesn't count as much of a reaction. All the fizzle means is that there's a presence of a hydrochloride salt. Um, what that basically tells us is this definitely isn't MDMA. It's probably a research chemical that is brand new that has virtually no human trials, and whoever bought this became the guinea pig, or a pale yellow, sometimes with a marquee regent, means that it's mephedrone. Um, if this is mephedrone, then that would kind of make sense because mephedrone feels like a mix of MDMA and cocaine. Mephedrone is very addictive, um, so there is a chance that this is mephedrone, but again, it didn't really have much of a reaction, um, so there's no way for us to really know what this is. Next, we have a tan crystalline powder. It has a slight sweet chemical taste to it. I can't really make it out. It's definitely a sweet smell. Now, the user who donated this sample to us explained that they really do think it's MDMA. Uh, they said they felt very euphoric. They felt they had a lot of energy. Um, they said it felt really good. On the downside, it didn't last very long. They said the experience was only about two hours and at which time they proceeded to redose. Seems a lot of people like to redose. I guess they like come downs. I'm gonna take a bet and say that this isn't MDMA, mainly because real MDMA lasts longer than two hours. A standard dose should have you rolling for anywhere from three to five hours. So given the short duration, I don't think this is M. But again, there's really no way to tell. We can look at it, we can smell it, we can taste it, um, but the only way to know is to test it. Again, we are looking for a straight to black reaction. And straight to yellow, the color of piss. This is more than likely methylone, also known as BKMDMA, M1, or MDMC. Now, since the late 2000s, most people who got into taking MDMA at that time actually have never had real MDMA. What they've really had is methylone. Um, this is because methylone is a lot cheaper to produce, and in the beginning, methylone was actually legal. It wasn't made illegal yet, making it a lot easier for dealers to get their hands on it. And chemically speaking, and even effects-wise, the effects are so similar, a lot of people didn't even know the difference. I mean, especially new users, because they had nothing to compare it to. Now, the main difference between MDMA and methylone is methylone has a three times less affinity for the serotonin transporter. What this means is it's not necessarily three times less as potent as MDMA, it's just the mechanism of action is a little different. So taking three times more of this will not give you the same kind of high as MDMA because pretty much when it comes to releasing norepinephrine and dopamine, they're pretty much on par. So it's gonna give you a very different experience if you take three times as much. Uh, basically what that does mean in practical terms is that methylone doesn't have the magic. 
when a lot of people talk about MDMA, they say that there's magic in the role. It's a magical experience. Um, there's really not much ma magic with taking methylone for most people. Now, some people actually prefer methylone, uh, very rarely, and that's because it can give you a very relaxed, almost opiate-like feeling sometimes. Now, don't quote me on this opiate thing, anybody addicted to opiates. Um, I only say that because the high isn't accompanied by as much energy as with MDMA, so there's less of an urge to dance. You might just find yourself wanting to sit down and uh, just relax and just let the euphoria wash over you. Um, now, when compared shoulder to shoulder to MDMA, I don't see why anyone would choose methylone. It really is an inferior substance, which is funny because molecularly speaking, they're so similar. It just goes to show that a small change of the molecule really does change a lot in terms of the effects of the substance. And finally, we have this brownish looking stuff. Mm. It has a very sweet licorice smell. Now, the volunteer who donated this sample explained her experience as being very euphoric. I keep hearing that. Um, she had lots of energy. Uh, she said that it lasted three to five hours without any need to redose. And she said she felt just a love for all human beings, a general acceptance that everything right now was just right in her life and the world was perfect just the way it was. Um, judging by the smell alone, I'm going to say this is probably MDMA. Uh, it's very common for MDMA to have a black licorice smell and even to be like brownish like this, this brown sugary look. Um, again, smell alone doesn't mean anything. It could smell like licorice -y and it could be this other stuff because sometimes they do use the same precursor chemicals to make them. So don't ever just go by smell. We have to test this. Once testing it, we will know if this is finally the real deal. straight to black finally we finally have some actual mdma i mean it's not guaranteed that this is pure mdma but most likely the other substances it could be are something like mda or mde um, but it's not as likely so this is probably mdma finally i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please start testing your pills i have included a link in the description where you can get actually the exact same testing kit that i'm using here uh, and so you can start testing your pills right away because as you can see you really can't trust these dealers who are selling you basically shit like pfft. and Yeah, they're just making a crazy profit off buying whatever the new research chemical is that they can get their hands on and there's quite literally new research chemicals coming out daily like it's disgusting how many new chemicals are coming out and The cheaper the chemical and the better it mimics the effects of MDMA the more people are gonna sell it and you start taking something that you think is Molly, and this whole time you've just been the guinea pig for the entire world for a substance that's never even been tested yet. So you don't know if the long-term effects could harm you in the future. You don't know if the short-term effect effects could kill you right now. Like, you have no idea. A test kit is absolutely essential. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. I want to continue making these videos and I want to continue doing substance comparison videos and challenges and all this fun stuff, but I need more subscribers to keep going. Um, so please share this video and give it a like if you enjoyed it and I will keep making more.